This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to install the Perk 5i RAID Controller Upgrade Kit into a PowerEdge 840 server. So if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. In the description of this video, we are going to post a link to our PowerEdge 840 parts guide. And this page will show you a bunch of awesome upgrade ideas as well as uh, part numbers and videos on how to install almost every component you can think of in the PowerEdge 840 server. Uh, we also show you a link to the PowerEdge 840 Perk 5i upgrade kit uh, that will give you this full kit. So if you want to emulate what we do in this video, um, you can find that on this page. Um, so essentially we are installing this kit because we originally had a SAS 5IR controller and we were looking for a little bit more redundancy and the SAS 5IR controller can only run RAID 0 or 1. Uh, so we wanted to do a RAID 5 with, uh, with a hot spare uh, configuration. Um, and so that'll give us a little bit more redundancy compared to the RAID 1. Uh, so we'll have three drives striped and then we will have a hot spare just in case one of those three drives fails. Um, so that gives us a little bit extra time to replace the failed drive. So here's our old PowerEdge 840 server. Um, this thing's going on 9, 10 years old now. And then we have our upgrade kit, our battery, battery cable, Perk 5i, required fan for this upgrade, and then two additional drives that are the same as the drives that we had existing. So we're going to do four 300 gig 15k drives instead of two. So we're going to remove our front bezel. That'll give us access to those hot plug drives. So first thing we're going to do is actually install our additional drives. So we're going to remove these blanks. And then we have, again, these are two 300 gig SAS 15K drives, and these match the existing drives that are already installed. Because to do RAID 5, we need a minimum of three drives, and then our fourth drive will be the hot spare. So the Perk 5i can run RAID 0, 1, 5, or 10. So we, I mean, we could do RAID 10 if we wanted to, uh, because we do have the minimum amount for RAID 10 as well. But again, we're doing RAID 5 with the hot spare. And we'll show you that after we install the actual Perk 5i card. So we're going to remove our side panel. There's a thumb screw. And uh, ours is pretty tight, so we had to remove it with a Phillips screwdriver. So you pull the side panel towards the front of the chassis. And we'll put the system on its side. And first, we will install our front chassis fan that is required when you have the Perk 5 IR controller installed. So this is kind of a goofy install. You actually have to fish the fan connector in first because there's a little slot on the bottom right and you'll be able to see where we push it through so fish that cable through first then you'll be able to push the actual fan into its slot and it'll click into place and then you can actually plug that into the fan connection on the system board all right so once that's securely installed we're going to do our battery next now here's a little lithium ion battery uh, we're going to plug our cable into it first and then once we have our cable installed we will we'll be able to pull pull that plastic battery clip that's already on our system i believe this comes stock with power j 40s even if you don't have the battery so we're going to pull that off the insert internal metal panel and then we're just going to install our battery inside this plastic holder all right now once it's installed into the holder we'll go ahead and clip that back into the metal chassis and then from there we're ready to plug that into our actual ray controller once we install that all right so here's our actual ray controller you can see it has a cache module on it it's got two sas ports we only need one for this particular install all right, so we're just going to install this into the PCIe X4 slot. And firmly install it, and then we will lock it into place with a Phillips screw. All right, so once that is actually screwed in, we'll be able to connect our SAS cable and our battery cable to the controller. So we're going to put our battery cable in first. Make sure that's nice and snug, and then we'll plug our SAS connection in. 
we're going to go into the cream slot. All right, so now that that's installed, that's all there is to the actual hardware part of the install. We're going to put our side panel back on, screw it into place, and then we will put our bezel back on. And then from here, we're going to go into our actual RAID utility and show you actually how to create the RAID 5 with a hot spare. All right, so this is the post. We've turned our system on. We're going to hit Control R to go into the RAID utility. And so this will take a little bit of time because it's it's basically searching for a boot device. And because these are uh, four formatted drives, there's no data on them yet. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to initialize those disks and find out there's no OS. So then it'll bring us into the RAID utility so we can actually create our RAID configuration. So be patient with it. It'll eventually bring you into the RAID utility. All right, so we should be going in soon. Zero logical disks. So we're going to hit F2 on this node configuration present. And we're going to go ahead and create VD. All right, so because we have four drives installed, we can do RAID 0, 1, 5, or 10. If you only have two drives, you can only do RAID 1. If you have three, you can do RAID 5. So we're going to do RAID 5. So we're going to select that. And we're going to arrow down to our drives. We're going to hit spacebar on three of them because we're going to do the fourth for a hot spare. We're going to, we're going to name it RAID 5, and then we're going to tab down to Advanced Settings. And then once we go into Advanced Settings, we're going to initialize the disks. We're going to select that with Spacebar, and then Configure Hot Spare. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Uh, it's going to ask you, we're going to destroy data. Yes, now we're configuring the hot spare. So this is the fourth drive. So what this is going to do, if, if one of our three drives fails, this drive will pick up the slack until we replace whatever drive failed. All right, so there's our virtual disk. We now have RAID 5 with a hot spare configured. Uh, so now we are ready to go ahead and basically load our operating system. All right, so that's all there is to this install. Um, so we installed our Perk 5 I card, and we have also uh, configured RAID 5 with the hot spare. Um, so we're ready, ready to go. Like I said, ready to load our OS. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to our channel. Um, also check out our uh, our blog page uh, that we have posted in the description of this video. It'll be very helpful to you if you have a PowerEdge 840 server. And thank you so much for watching.